welcome to our next edition of Book Banter. I'm Anne Bernice. And I'm Chloe. And our topic today is books that would make good TV shows and or movies. So the first book is one that we've both read, and this is Graceling by Kristen Cashore. And I don't know, how it like, what is it about? It is about, so it's a fantasy, and in this world, Basically, people. Some people are born with graces that give you different gifts and things like that. And the main character is born with the gift of killing, so she becomes basically like, an assassin. assassin for the king, one of the king of the kingdoms. And it would be a sweet TV show, like because um, they kind of discover this huge under political plot as usual. Yeah, and I feel like it could kind of be in the vein of Game of Thrones. Thing. Yeah, like it'd be With that sort of historical but also like fantasy element. Yeah, mix. yeah, and it's really good. And it's a series. There's two other books, but they're not all related. Yeah, they're like separate stories in the same verse. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. Cool. All right. So this is Gone. It is um, a series. There's like six books or something around that, and it's about um, one day like these kids are in school and then all of the adults just disappear. And the one 15, um, 18 and older just disappears and the kids start getting superpowers which had to leave the town but they are stuck in the town with this like invisible dome barrier thing and it's just a really cool mix of like superpowers and trying to make everything work in society and making it stay stable and it'd be a really good TV show because a lot happens and there's a lot of characters and it's really sweet and like the critics describe it as a mixture of Under the Dome by Stephen King and Lord of the Flies by William Golding and that's basically what it is. It's so cool. I love it. It's a great series. It'd be a good TV show. Really good one. Okay, so my next pick is The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. And this is about, it's set when the, um, the internet is just first sort of like coming about and people are starting to get familiar with it. And so these two kids stumble upon like Facebook, but it's from the future. So they don't really know, they, de they get a CD-ROM and it has Facebook on it. So they find basically themselves in the future on Facebook and how their lives turned out. And then they realize that everything they're doing now changes their future. So they keep checking back on Facebook to see what they're doing, like if what they're doing now has had an effect on their future. And I think this would make a really cool movie. Like they start kind of going crazy trying to get themselves the perfect future, which I mean, you don't really know what that is and you don't know how you can get that. But like they figure out that everything has the smallest like ripple effect and can completely change their future. And I just thought it was a really cool concept. That is a really cool like, concept. That's a, that's a neat idea. So yeah, I think that would make a really exciting movie. Yeah. Leviathan. This is a trilogy by Scott Westerfeld and it is so good. It's basically set in World War One, but it's like steampunk World War One. So the allies, like uh, the good oh, mm, terminology. Okay, so there's like the Darwinists in the book and the Ottomans, and the Darwinists use like animal mixed hybrid science stuff to fly. Like the um, Leviathan is this giant airship that's like basically a giant whale and then it's all the other animals that work inside of it to make it run and then the Ottomans use machines and um, like giant robots to fight and stuff like that and so I just think that with the animation we have now the science scientific oh my god I can't talk <laughs> and the technology. technology that we have it would make a really really sweet movie because the animation would be awesome and the storyline is really really good and it's if um Franz Ferdinand had a son and he's trying to stop the war kind of thing and it's pretty it's really good I love it and yeah okay so the next one is one that we both read and this is Shatter Me by do you want to pronounce that name? Tahira Mafi yeah. um, and basically it's kind of a dystopian about a girl who everyone she touches she kills so she's been kind of put in like isolation basically in a jail for the rest of her life because she her parents feared her basically and believed like she could not be a part of society so they put her in isolation and then she gets taken by um, kind of the villain of the story who wants to use her sort of to be an assassin I guess there's there's a yeah. thing going on here <laughs> um, yeah so it's just really exciting the whole premise is just really yeah I don't know what do you say that's nothing bad <laughs> yeah I think it would make an awesome movie yeah, yeah. the demon king 
this would make a really good TV show. It's also a fantasy and there's just like there's four books and there's so much goes on and it's really good. But basically there are in this world there's like wizards and there's like the clans members and like the townspeople and the wizards are like run like the, the um everything and there's this townsman and he found out that he's part wizard and everything just goes crazy and it, like the wizards hate him and trying to kill him and it's just so good and he falls in love with the princess and wizard knows she's the princess and all this jazz happens and it would make such a good tv show um and the characters are flawless and i just and really real i just think this would make such a good tv show and the fantasy setting and everything would be really really cool on tv like i'd watch it <laughs> <laughs> the next one is this is not a test by courtney summers about zombies and we both love The Walking Dead. Yes. The TV show The Walking Dead. Best show. I think this would make an awesome movie. The premise is that um, there's a zombie apocalypse and these five kids survive and they basically make it to their high school and they have to like they barricade their high school and that's where they stay during the zombie apocalypse. That's a really good idea because the high school is actually a really good place to go when there's yeah. a zombie apocalypse. So good, good book. Yeah. So, and there's, I don't know, it's five teenagers trapped in a high school during a zombie apocalypse. Like, that is a, that is an epic plot. Like, so much can go on. So, yeah, I really like this book. I think it would be cool to see it on the screen. Well, this one is also about zombies. <laughs> well, not exactly zombies because they're more like, I don't even know, basically there, um, there's giant earthquakes that happen around the world and like the, the, the earth kind of splits and people more get possessed kind of because their eyes go black with like, and it just, it's really sketchy and everyone just starts killing each other and so it's a, um, there are four different characters and one who is kind of a zombie you think? And they're all trying to get to, set in Canada, they're all trying to get to UBC because they heard, heard it's safe over in Victoria and it's just really, really good. They all meet up and this one goes looking for her brother and it's just crazy. It's um, a series with only two books out right now, but it would be such a good movie because it's in Canada during the zombie apocalypse and everyone's just trying to find their loved ones and everything and it is sweet. I love it. It's such a good book. All right. Good. <laughs> um, and then the last one that we picked is The Uglies series by Scott Westerfeld. And this book has um, three books and then a companion novel. And it's set in the future when there are the uglies, the pretties, and the specials. So once you turn a certain age, you get um, kind of an operation to make you pretty. And then you get to live like in the city with the rest of the pretty people. and. I don't even, I think, I actually think it would make a better TV show than a movie just because it has so much going on and it just spans across such like a long time. time. Yeah. yeah. It's just most, it's just like action and adventure. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. That's yeah. Really awesome TV show.